have some pictures. Mm. I want to watch them with you. <laughs> um, well, it was cold that day. It was a very cold day in England, and we got naked and put on socks, and people were looking at us like, what's the matter with you, you know? And um, we happily walked across the street, you know? Uh, it was a funny day. I take credit for the socks. Yeah. Um, I, th I think I came up with that. Flea maybe tries to take credit, but it's, it's not true. For the Abbey Road recreation, that was actually our first manager called Lindy Getz, a, a small Jewish man from Brooklyn, a lovely fellow, and that was his idea. And it was about 7 o'clock in the morning. It was cold seven outside. 7 o'clock? Yes, seven and there was an old lady on the, on the sidewalk, and I, I didn't want to bother her, but I was like, does this bother you that we're taking our clothes? And she's like, it's nothing I haven't seen before. <laughs> she wasn't impressed. So, Looking at it, it makes me, uh, you know, it's a funny image, you know. I miss Halal a lot. He was a beautiful man. He was a very kind, funny, artistic, awesome man. <laughs> That was on the internet? <laughs> That's my old house that I used to live in. And it was my daughter's 10th birthday, uh, Clara. And she really loved the Spice Girls then. And um, we did a Spice Girls performance. I was Baby Spice, and John was Sporty Spice, and Anthony was Posh Spice. And we did um, Stop Right Now, Thank You Very Much, I Need Somebody With a Human Touch. And another one, Spice Up Your Life. Every boy and every girl. Yeah, and the funny thing is that, like, we knew the Spice Girls a little bit. Yeah. I don't want to say any personal things, but knew them a little bit. And, and in this house, there was a staircase that came down here. You can kind of see it back there. Uh -huh. And my daughter was having a birthday party, and all the little girls were there, like 10, 15 girls or something. And we said, we have a special surprise for you. Sit in the chairs, and they're sitting in the chairs, and they're waiting. And we came down the stairs, you know, and the music started playing really loud, Spice Girls. Dun, 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 And we're coming down the stairs. And they thought, the girls thought it was the real Spice Girls. Oh. Because Clara told them, you know, my dad knows the Spice Girls, you know. <laughs> and, and again, they thought it was the real Spice Girls. And we came down, and we have, you know, beards, and, you know, it's us dressed like the Spice Girls, like girls. And they were, Hello. And they were, they were terrified. His daughter? <laughs> yeah. They were <laughs> absolutely I, scarred for terrified. Life. Scarred for yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were in horror. They were in absolute horror. <laughs> in your life. Who is Flea in my life? Yes. On, um, which are the highlights in his personality that you can describe him? Well, it's indescribable. Uh, he's my brother. Um, we just have a past life bond, you know, where we have no choice. You can't get rid of your brother. You can get rid of a friend. You can get rid of a husband, but you can't get rid of your brother. It's life. So, we're brothers. His life. Yeah. John. John. So, very special person to me, special person to many people, but my experience with John was one of the most wonderful and easiest 
people to make music with. We could sit down on the floor, John and I, and I could take out a piece of paper and I would say, okay, I wrote these words and he was like let, let me let me see those words and he would take the words and he would read them and he's like okay and then he would start to play something and I would start to sing it and I would say can you play something you know that that feels like this and he'd say okay let me try this and then we have a song so never did I meet someone who was so easy to write songs with and really good songs if I call him up and I'm like I'm very sad today he's like come over right now we're writing a song so I bring my sadness to John and sit down, get get the notebook, you know, start writing your feelings, and then we have a song. Did you miss him? Um, I miss him, but I also accept the separate lives. Okay. Yeah, but I miss him. What did you <laughs> see when you saw this picture? It's funny to me. Um, you know, being a young boy is is a beautiful thing because anything is possible. And when I met Flea ar around this time in my life, you know, the sky was the limit. You know, we could do whatever we wanted. And that's a nice feeling. Have you ever listened to some uh, Argentinian musician? Um, yes, uh, lots of Argentinian music. Uh, I'd say my favorite Argentinian musician is Astor Piazzolla. Yes? Yeah, I, I love Astor Piazzolla. You ever get into it? Uh, maybe from you playing it in the van or yeah, something. Yeah, he plays the accordion and it's like, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a godly. Tango. Have you ever seen this person in your <laughs> life? Can you, can you describe this man in six words or less? Um, that man, I remember that picture. Is that, that is that tenth grade? No. I think that might be senior year, bro. <laughs> After the, uh, you know, you take the picture early in the year. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Have you ever think about what would have been happen if you hasn't hadn't met? If I hadn't met Anthony? Yeah. Well. It's funny thing about me and Anthony is that there's a really like a chemistry between us that neither one of us have any control over. And I think that I don't think at least for me I can I can't speak for him, but I have no comprehension of what it is outside of I love him deeply and I feel a lot of love from him for me, but like I feel like if I could understand it, like the bizarre psychological phenomenon of whatever it is, that the magic might leak out of it or something. But I can't, I don't understand it. Because it's just like this ongoing thing. It keeps moving and going and it's, it's wild. It's out of control. It's out of control. I have thought of it, but it's impossible for me to imagine what the outcome would be. It would be so different. My life would be completely different. I think we've affected each other profoundly from the first day we met. Do you still think that you are a monster with two heads? Yes. Yes? Yes. It's a great definition. It's an honest definition. It's my nature, some love, no more pleasure. Turn down, that's confusion. Hit the road, just keep moving. Double my fun, double my vision. Long hard work, I'm the last distinction. Come so here, talk so there. Talk over your bitch and you best beware. See you in Argentina? See you in Argentina. Thank you. Thank you.